Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's the 18th of April 2024. Mike Smith, Alice at Your Markets to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight we saw US Markets Week again for the fourth successive day on the NASDAQ and the SP 500. As markets are pricing now, not only a delay in rate cuts potentially till September, and some suggesting maybe not even this year, but also less frequency than the anticipated three times during 2024 that the Fed had telegraphed a couple of months ago. So consequently, we're seeing that drop, which technically looks important, but we are seeing US futures slightly higher in Asian trading today so far. Asian markets are currently mixed, and Nikkei is underperforming. The ASX is trying to snap a five-day losing streak and is up around about 0.4%, which is fairly close to its highs at this stage. Materials aren't outperforming. European futures are also pointing to a cautious but positive open. So it could be an interesting day ahead. US dollar index, we did see fall a little bit, breaking a fifth straight day of gains to close lower. Uh, gold pulled back also, suggesting some of that flight to safety has come off the table a little bit that we've been seeing over the last few days. However, copper moved back up to test 435 on a strong session and, of course, 16-month highs. Oil is also looking fairly weak. We talked about this yesterday and throughout the week. It's now breached support, moved back towards $80. That's probably not a bad thing from an inflationary point of view. Bitcoin closed its lowest level since February, but holding in Asia so far. And of course, we've got earnings starting to ramp up in the US. We've got Netflix. We've got lots of the regional banks, including Keycorp and DR Horton in the home building sector. The highlights for today, the IMF meeting continues and Australian jobs numbers came out earlier today and were weaker than expected. But later on today, out of the US, we've got US weekly jobs, manufacturing and housing data to digest. A couple of charts at Core RI today. We talked about AGL over the last few days and you can see that follow through on that breach of resistance at nine dollars this 923 looks important if we breach 930 would suggest that 970 is very much on the cards as the next key level the only reason to pause at 930 is this 200 ema but looks as though the buyers are well and truly in we see the last couple of days with higher volume associated with this up move so looking fairly positive in the FX world, the Euro Aussie is looking interesting. There's a potential interesting level at 165.46, which we are testing in this morning's trading. It corresponds to the closing lows that we saw in the middle of the day yesterday. Uh, so a breach of that could mean we could come down and retest 165. You can see some price action there previously. Uh, so a potential 40 pip move here. If we get some momentum behind a move through 165.46. So we think keep an eye on that over the course of the next few hours, but be patient for the break to the downside. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.